Hello, my name is Carly, and I was created by Midjourney version 5.2. Wait a minute, I'm Carly, and I was created by the new DALI version 3 preview. Okay ladies. I'm the real Carly, and you're my introduction avatars for this DALI 3 AI preview. You can just take a little rest, while I present. The DALI 3 preview is out, and there is a lot of buzz about it on YouTube. AI application and AI art influencers such as Matt of Matt Vid Pro AI, Tim of Theoretically Media, and Matt Wolf have done a nice job discussing the early preview of DALI 3. An easy way to access the preview version of DALI 3 is by going to bing.com slash create, as shown here. You'll need to log into Image Creator with your personal email address, or with the email address you use for your Microsoft account. Both seem to work. Once logged in, the web page should look like this. The AI will generate up to four images that you may just review, download, and use immediately. DALI generates square 1024 by 1024 pixel images. Landscape is not yet available, as far as I can tell. At the time of this video, it appears you can have up to 100 fast mode image generations free each day. After the first 100 images, the image generation may be very slow, in the several minute range. When you read the help documents for Bing Image Creator, you'll find that there are ways to earn more fast image generations if you do run out. Up next, I'll show one DALI 3 example with text, because this is one area in which it really shines. And then I'll show 10 comparison pairs of Midjourney and DALI 3 renderings based on the identical prompt. To be fair, I selected the best rendering from the set of four images generated by each AI. First, we have a DALI 3 text example rendering an image of this wonderful pig. Right off the start, we see that DALI 3 is very capable of generating accurate and style-appropriate text. The other AIs certainly have some catching up to do for text rendering. The text style and the addition of the eggs on the sign are a nice touch. The next two examples are human art comparisons. We'll start with this prompt, calling for an image of John Lennon at the beach, playing his guitar. The character's appearance is certainly similar to that of John Lennon in both examples. I do like both of these results. Here we have a prompt calling for a rendition of a woman in cyberpunk style. I think both renditions are faithful to the prompt and the cyberpunk style. The fashion for each character and the background for each character seem as expected for the style. Now we go from people to cats. We ask for a specific breed, the main coon, placed in a fanciful garden. The interpretation of the garden itself is quite different for each AI, but I like them both. I think the rendition of the cat is faithful to the main coon breed in both AIs. Ignoring the admonition we saw on the pig sign, I asked for a rendering of a complete bacon and egg breakfast. Each AI made a good rendition of the image requested. In the next example, I wanted to see what artistic license DALI 3 would take with adjectives and weather conditions. I liked both renderings by the AIs. There isn't any external evidence of haunting in either image, yet they both appear foreboding. How do you like these images? Next. We'll try a home interior. I wanted to see how DALI 3 would react to the common art style, cottage core. I believe both AIs reacted well to the simple prompt. The mid-journey result has the flavor of a photorealistic digital workstation rendering, whereas the DALI 3 result looks more like a professional photograph from an actual home and garden magazine. The result you prefer may just depend on your personal taste and goals. Moving back to people, Many AIs have difficulty with lifelike renderings of groups of people. In the hope of giving the AI space for a good amount of creativity, I created this simple prompt for a rendering of a birthday party. I think that DALI 3 was right on target for the surprise attribute of the prompt. Yet, both AIs did a perfect job rendering young adults. Now we move on to vehicles. Most AIs recognize car models and makes especially more recent vehicles. Naturally, DALI 3 did a great job placing the name, Lotus, 
on the windshield of the vehicle. I really liked both renditions of the pit stop. Now we go for imaginary art and a prompt that is a bit more complex. We have this prompt, elegant cats dressed in intricate gowns and parasols, strolling down a promenade, with male cats, in coats and breeches. Dally 3 was right on target with this prompt as well. Midjourney was just okay, and it didn't know that breeches are similar to trousers. So, Midjourney placed the male cats in dresses. For our last example, we stay with animals and request multiple dogs on surfboards in the ocean. Every example I tried with Dally 3 for the dogs was on target with the prompt, and I chose the best to show. Midjourney was compliant by creating multiple dogs, yet it tried to put all the dogs on a single surfboard in most of the renderings. As we saw in the prior cat promenade example, Dally 3 is superior when it comes to rendering this style of imaginary images. As you review this final piano illustration, I want to thank you for reviewing these Dali 3 renderings with me. We can see that each AI has strengths and weaknesses. My opinion is that assertions declaring Midjourney is dead are premature and without data. I look forward to the continued evolution of applications like Dali 3 and Midjourney 5.2 as we build content for personal and business expression. Let me know what you think about Dali 3 and how you'd like to use the application, and have some fun along the way. Bye bye.